Yeah, I was like, we were doing the policy for the videos and stuff, so there's a paper that you can Did you write the internet too? No. No, we didn't get it back. I want that. See, I don't want cable and I don't want phone, but I would like to get there. Your next bill, if you're letting it, well, I don't have them now. Oh, I don't have them now at all, so I won't get a bill. I'm going to have to call somebody. Oh. It would be nice to have a real bill in for a change. And who's that with? Hmm? Internet, you said. Yeah. Door and my wall just collapsed right on my counter. 
Oh my goodness. Yeah. Was that like a low bearing wall? Um, you know, I, I had horse hair plaster because my house is 127 years old. Well, I am now repairing my house. Just think of the horse plaster. Yeah, how about it? Yeah, you got shaved. Mm -hmm. I was like, who in the world thought it was a good idea to pluck horse hair and throw it on the wall? I remember whenever you told it was either Amish. Bianca or Parker, they thought it was disgusting. <laughs> it is awesome. Those, those little like stud things, like those boards, are like this wide, and they go this way, and they go this way, and they're just slats, or whatever. And they're just, it's horrible. They a mess. It's a big mess. The living room is so thick that I bet screws try to put them in. Yeah, well, I have a plain house, so I have planks that go this way and planks that go this way, and then they took all the lattice and then they threw the horsehair plaster on top of it, and it's been, it's been a joy. I mean, we started this before Thanksgiving, and we're just now putting the kitchen floor in, and I'm just. So hey, on the plus side, if you get the chance, try Squiggy's Pizza on their wings. Because <laughs> <laughs> we've been getting from there and brothers, and it's been great. Because <laughs> there's no cooking at my house right now. No, because the oven's in the living room. <laughs> You can't even get to the TV. <laughs> we, it's, in the living room, we have the normal furniture, then we have the stove, we have a deep freezer, we have the fridge, a washer dryer. <laughs> I go the um, Is there anybody here who does not want to be present for the prayer? We have Pastor. Um, Praise God, we thank you for this opportunity we have tonight to, to gather together, Lord, especially in the midst of this pandemic. Lord, we ask you to be with each person tonight and the talents that you have given them, and then may bring them to the surface here tonight, Lord, for this wonderful borough of Coldport. We ask you to bless these proceedings, bless each person within them, Lord, that they may be, uh, from, from even though from different perspectives, may come together to not only glorify the people of this borough, but to glorify you. Mm -hmm. Lord God, we thank you, and it's in your name that we pray. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Pledge allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, Lidon Neenley gave a short report on the interview. 
Motion. Sean Yingling made a motion to hire Andrew Morsey and accept Kurt Radcliffe's resignation. Robert Lee second. All eyes. Motion carried. Andrew Morsey starts November 3rd. No one has shown interest in the tax collector position. Mary Glass's resignation is finalized on January 15th, 2021. Secretary Morsey will begin or will speak to the solicitor about how to legally become the new tax collector. Gerald Spade stated that he knows an interested party. Motion. Sean Yingling made a motion to accept resignation of Mary Glass for Secretary to speak to the solicitor about how to become tax collector and if the interested party comes forward, we will discuss it at the December meeting. Robert B. Second, all eyes, motion carried. Unfinished business. More documents need to be submitted for the Minimark court case. Streets and lights. Sean Yingling got an email back from a new contact person from Panama. Penelope will be having a planned outage November 9th and 10th from 9 to 9.30 a.m. and from 1.30 to 2 p.m. Parks and buildings. Ladon Yingling looked at cameras for the park. Ladon Yingling hopes to pick one and order it before the end of this month. Finances. 2021 tentative budget is complete. Uh, right to no retort. Two requests. One request has been completed. Secretary Morsi apologizes for the second request not yet being filled. An appeal was filed, but the secretary took care of the situation. Vice President Walker entered the meeting. Finance and Treasurer's Report. Secretary Morsi discovered why we are in block. Secretary contacted Catherine about the missing forms. Tentative budget was pres presented to council. Gerald Spade asked if the council had considered the fire service fee. Council did not. Jack Lang asked if the borough had gotten liquid fuel money. The borough has not. Motion. Robert Lee made a motion to accept the tentative budget for 2021 and to advertise it. Madonna Yingling second. 3 yay, 1 nay, majority vote, motion carried. President Trent gave a short summary of the finance report. Motion. Sean Yingling made a motion to accept the finance report. Robert Lee second. 3 yay, 1 nay, majority vote, motion carried. Motion. Vice President Swagger made a motion to pay the bills to keep the borough running until the next council meeting. Madonna Yingling second. All eyes, motion carried. Good of the borough, the Christmas parade was canceled. Executive session with Glendale Volunteer Fire Department ended at 8.46 p.m. Robert Lee made a motion to adjourn. The Dominion Link second, all eyes, motion carried. Meeting adjourned at 8.46 p.m. Jump off of the borough okay. with the ID card for the for the truck. Okay. The, the new ID card in the holder. Everything <coughs> here. Um, I want to make sure is the council aware of the eight hundred and unfortunately I think eight hundred twenty four dollar refund dividend check that was delivered from EMC to the borough lot two probably two five months ago. One or two months ago. I'm not hundred percent sure I can check and see if I can get anything from the post office. We're Maybe. having issues with our mail because sometimes our mail is delivered to the library and we don't get it right away. Okay. It would have been sent out, actually, I want to say clear back in October. Yeah, sometimes so. we don't get our mail right away. Okay. So I just want to make sure that that was received. I also, there is a little bit of information I need to, to try to gather, I don't know where best to gather that. I've left a few messages. Um, just the, like the space that's being leased from this building. I didn't know if anybody knew the square footage of that. And I mean, I'd be happy to measure it to calculate it. Okay, you need the square footage of, of what's being leased. What's being leased from the borough building. The <coughs> some approximate location on the telephone poles that are insured that was done with the street, streetscape project many years ago. Insured. Even if it's like between like so many numbers on Main Street or just, just something so I can help narrow that down a little bit for the underwriter. Mm -hmm. 
And then finally, I think they just need a copy of the budget. That can either be the current year's budget or the projected year's budget. But the insurance company, because of some of the protections that's in the policy for the borough, they are required to obtain that information. So that's really all I have. And so you need square footage of the least part portion. of the building. Yeah, which I guess would be the, the, the museum and the library. The nursery school. The nursery school. Yeah, the nursery school. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, you need an the insured light poles. Yeah, just this uh, just uh, some type of because like I have there's some conflicting information. I have some from prior policies that one of the things says it's at the park. Something else is telling me it's on the main, main, on the main it street. On the main drag, yeah. It is on the main drag. Okay. Mm -hmm. If somebody just give me like some numbers, like is it between seven twenty three and nine forty two, or just just something. So, so you I want can, the actual street? Kind of location. like a street address. I just street need to narrow it down to the right a little bit. You don't need a poll number. I don't. I don't. If there actually is poll numbers, of what you know. There would be poll numbers on those. So no. the borough owns the polls. It's just such an. It's an unusual circumstance. And that's why the underwriter is kind of being strange about it. Okay. So, yeah, any, any identifying features that would be very okay. helpful. Um, and then a copy of the budget. All right. Okay? All right. Do you mind if I don't stay for the rest of your meeting? Not at all. I'm going to give you the, the policy and run. All right. I actually left the room spring, <laughs> went on autopilot, drove up, and instead of going through Crescent and coming up the easy way, I went to go way to Evans Park. Oh. And I, I have no idea. Oh. Just, just brain fault. <laughs> so, anyhow, hey, thank you all so much. Thank I you. Really appreciate your business. Thanks for running up. Thank you. I actually have a projected budget. Oh, thank you. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. Have a great day. You too. Um, uh, we got a little salt today to put in. Andrew did a good job putting it in. Uh, we got the garage door fixed on the tires. Uh, I want to thank uh, Todd Kosick and Mike Kosick. They did a great job in doing it. Great. Glad it's taken care of. Yep. It was a Merry Christmas present. It was a who? A Merry a Christmas, Christmas present. present. Aww. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, they were there about four hours. Really? Yeah. They, did they do that today? No, they did it last week. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good guys. Yeah, that's great. Um, anything else? No, we have our uh, anti skid in, and we're ready for Wednesday. We're gonna put the plow on tomorrow. Is it gonna be as bad as what I've been hearing? I can't tell. <laughs> Well, somebody told me it wasn't coming until next week, and then... No, no Wednesday. It's supposed to start Wednesday late morning. That's it. 8 to 12 is what I'm hearing. 8 to 12? Oh, shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was hearing the same thing. I think it's supposed to start Tuesday night and Wednesday or something like that, Wednesday night. Oh, my goodness. Why just from midday to the evening? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's more than I was hearing. One to two inches an hour. Well, great. You stop the weather. We'll see what we get. We've been lucky so far. That's right, we have. Mm -hmm. We've been blessed. Mr. Spade, anything? Do I need a permit to uh, plow snow if I around my building? Or is there any objection? There's no objection. Okay, thank None. you. <laughs> you got to take care of the snow. That's a safety issue. You know, somebody slipped and fall or accidents. Yeah, you got to follow the stove. Thank you. Sure. Anything else? I will yield right now. Okay. Let me say, I think I'll be here later. Okay. All right. Um, then we'll move on to old business. Tax collector issue. We have, um, spoken to our solicitor about that. She's looking into whether we need an ordinance for um, what we need to do. Um, but this is actually covered under our, in the borough code. 
but it actually states in our borough code that our secretary is permitted to collect our taxes. That, that is with the discretion of our, of the council. So with the discretion of the council, no one else can collect our taxes for us. Do you have that number right on top of what you said? Mm -hmm. Do you have that number on the page? Mm -hmm. That falls underneath the 902. Um, that's in chapter 9. It's section 902. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and that falls under sections 4.2 and 4.4 of the Act of May 25th, 1944, known as the Local Tax Collection Law. Um, but we wanted to make sure that all of our I's are dotted, our T's are crossed, so we did check with the um, solicitor just to make sure that an ordinance wasn't needed, but um, the motion is in place for her to be um, the tax collector since no interested parties have come forward so um, we can get that in place and um, are you going to create a resolution excuse me are you going to create a resolution though um one of five ex i i'm sorry with the mask over here it's hard to can we take them off <laughs> <laughs> i think we're six feet away one of five if you're appointing anybody Right, and that's that's why I would like to have you know have the solicitor inform me what kind of steps we need to take, make sure that we have everything that we need to do and do it correctly and do it, you know. Well, I think one of those five gives you that right, and you're probably going to need to, to get that resolution. Correct. Quickly. <laughs> Correct, and, and I understand that, and hopefully, you know. Make sure that everything's taken care of right at the beginning of January with our first meeting and get the ball rolling and have everything taken care of by our solicitor. Thank so you, that it's done you. right, the right way the first time so that we don't have a mess. Thank you. Because this is very important. You're welcome. Um, unfinished business. In front of you, you have resolution 15. No, that's the next one I don't. That's the what? That's the next line item. I didn't make a copy of 15 because we have to go in and change things. Oh, we have to change resolution 15. Okay. I'm sorry. And there was a change to the um, resolution for the video and for meetings. Um, I did hear back from Cheyenne about resolution 15. Um, she had explained that with the writing of it we should do an ordinance just in case so then we we make sure that everything is done correctly so her and i are going to be working together and making the ordinance okay your resolution 15 is the one about the, the independent, independent auditors so there will be another <coughs> ordinance done for the independent auditors which will be compiled by our solicitor and our secretary and filed that will also be taken care of at, at the first meeting at the beginning of the year. Is that not correct? I'm sorry, what did you say? First meeting, beginning of the year, ordinance for the independent auditor. Yes. That resolution and everything will be redone. Resolution 15 will be <coughs> redone. Okay. Policy has been revised concerning video and audio equipment. Um, I had gotten the email back from our solicitor and she had actually given me um, a correction to our resolution and our policy that we have posted. So I have the new one printed out for you guys. And there's copies over there of the um, one that's going to be posted. Okay, We basically have to um, have a motion to accept the revisions that were made 
and have to do a roll call vote for the resolution. To pass the resolution. <clears throat> Basically, the issue that came about was um, cell phone usage. Um, that limited somebody not being able to record using, using their camera on their cell phone. Um, because our last policy, that the last resolution that was written, said no cell phone usage. Um, and that basically limited um, it prohibited somebody from being able to use that type of media on their cell phone. So that was basically wrong to do. So she had suggested that we allow the cell phone usage because you're allowed to um, in a public meeting, you're allowed to record, and, and you're allowed, the public is allowed, such as Mr. <coughs> Shea does, he um, videotapes, and um, the use of a cell phone does have a video recorder for such meetings. So to prohibit somebody from the use of cell phones um, prohibits them from being able to use that cell phone for video recording. So, um, and, and this is an example of one of the things that was changed in this policy by our solicitor that protects the borough from uh, limiting our public from those sort of things. And, and that's an example of something that was changed. And that's why the policy was revised. I'll make a motion to accept the revised uh, resolution. Any discussion? I'm sorry, I just need one more minute. That's not a problem. <laughs> Take your time. <clears throat>
here. Street lights, Sean. I submitted that letter to our contact person. Okay. She said if she needed anything else, she'd let me know, but I haven't heard anything back as far as the contract. Okay. <coughs> Parks and buildings, LaDawn. Nothing new. Um, the dumpster was flipped and the quarter bodies were taken. Yeah, we had that one quarter body we got to get, but um, Andrew told me that they got that there, so. Yeah. Um, it's just great. I was worried about that. I did not want to be charged anymore for that. Mm -hmm. Which I don't, they didn't charge us anymore after that October. I'm not 100% yeah. sure they might have. And right. I just haven't gotten the bill yet. I talked no, to the lady. I talked to the lady there and she said it was her mistake that uh, she didn't, they didn't pick it up. Okay, because I called back in September and. Yeah. Okay, so. They just had to find out where we were. <coughs> And I left the message and told him where we were. Okay. <laughs> Personnel committee, let on. Um, everything's been going really good. I've been having some staff meetings with the staff and stuff about every two weeks to a month and just get some updates and stuff. And things are been going over right, so. Wonderful. We've been keeping up on everything. And um, getting things fixed and stuff, so. Um, finances. I don't have anything new other than, obviously, we're down with the wire on the budget here, so. Tonight's the night. Generic report. I haven't had any. Okay. Um, Christmas bonuses. Expenditure, it's petty cash kind of deal. 
Who makes those purchases? <clears throat> Actually, our secretary. I, I go and <laughs> I use the borough credit card and I go around and get the gift certificates. Okay. Okay. Um, has it always been that fee? I believe so. Um, there are guidelines, government guidelines that we mm -hmm. have to follow, so you can't really go much higher. Mm -hmm. It's it's minimal. Okay. Yeah, we, 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 there's an ethical issue if you understand. <laughs> it's just a question. Well, when did you guys put up the Christmas lights? Two weeks ago. Oh, that was uh, right after Thanksgiving. Electric bills up there. 
We would only have how many things for that man mm -hmm. one. Well, but, I mean, Thanksgiving would have been the 27th. 20, 20, 20, 26. Okay, so then the lights would go on the 27th. So let's suppose the first night they were lit was the 27th. There was only 30 days in the month. Three days didn't raise that exactly. level. Like, like, that much, month, that much. I mean, if we didn't have them all up then, we put up six more after that. Yeah, so again, something's going on with that. So it doesn't make sense about that. So, so like, we were calling them constantly, breaking and complaining, so they jumped on <laughs> So we're finally getting somewhere, and we were quiet, and then all of a sudden, you don't think they gave us our old, like, Sense, like add those extra cents or you know what I mean? Like we're always submitted to like how many was it? Which is it's a 
$7,000 jump from October to November. Or do you mean basically in that goes along? I was going to say, do you mean just streetlights? Because we're not under our streetlights. Oh, like, my goodness, and streetlights? We're over budget by $11,000. As I was that's why I was hung up there, because we budgeted 8000 and we're at 19169 right now. That's how I killed this year. I, I just, I, I, I find it very hard. I mean, the idea that those streetlights could cost $20,000 a year, is a, it, it just doesn't it's seem just feasible. To it doesn't seem <coughs> feasible to me. Yeah, like when I went over... Like whenever I created this budget with uh, Mr. Spade and President, um, I had looked over the 2018 bills. I mean, we had and the bills. It still was only like around eight thousand dollars. Yeah. We had the bills. I mean, in last year's budget and everything sitting in front of us. Somebody hooking up and we don't know or what? <laughs> Are we doing <laughs> half the town or what? It, it's it's not just like it went up a little bit. It went up enough. That it's concerning. I mean, it, they, yes. that, that's concerning to me. I, I, that's almost twenty thousand dollars, and we saw in December. Well, when I called about mine bills that went up, they said at the beginning of the year they are permitted to increase rates a certain percentage every year at the beginning of the year. And I myself, I mean, when we did this budget never took into an account that they could increase that much. But this is insane. This, this is literally insane. I, I, I don't know what we need to do, but we need to do something. I, I mean, we... We need to go there or something. I was going to say, even if we can have a meeting or something. come here and explain to us how that can happen. I, I, I need to... That's good. I need to know. Yeah. I need yeah. to know. It would be nice, yeah. I, I, I want someone to tell me how we go from from seventy five to eight seventy five hundred to eight thousand last year to over twenty thousand this year. It wasn't even that much because didn't we increase it a little bit? Like when we budgeted, didn't we move up a I little bit? I thought we to ten thousand. You're saying it's eight thousand. It's eight thousand. We budgeted eight thousand for the penalty bill, but we increased it a little bit. To give us that cushion. Is somebody tapping into our? That's what you said. Where are all the cohorts tapping in? Yeah. That's exactly what I'm saying. I'm not suggesting it's a bad thing. I don't know that. But I am suggesting that that's not realistic. That doesn't make sense. It's not. Yeah. Yeah. But see, when we wrote those bills, we had to come up with that cushion. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, even that $8,000, we didn't pay $8,000 in 2019 because we took what we paid in 2019 and we increased it a little bit to kind Those of light poles, well, they don't have outlets near the bottom or anything, like, right? No, they're up no, they're in, all, like, the middle all, area. I never seen that. In thing. the business district, you're in the bottom receptacles. So someone could be plugging into the room. Yeah, I don't think that. But I don't think no, not that much. No, obviously, but I'm saying I was asking if it was even possible. Is there something within reach? And you're saying, oh yeah, yes, there is. Yeah, like up at Gallagher's door, and uh, the couple of ones down below there, uh, on the main business. But are they metered? No, nothing to meter. Oh yeah, well you got a meter in the junction box. Is Panelec reading those meters? Oh, I don't know. They are not. So if they're metered, I want to see the bills when we're down here. And the, uh, the park, the park, there's electricity to park, right? Does that, does, does, does that call the street lights? Or does that no, call? that goes in with the normal shut, electric bill. We shut the breaker off if somebody isn't renting the park. Yeah. We shut the breaker off. And we have to shut the main part off, is, though, too. It's different. I don't think it's new. I think it's different. It's, it's like a basic rate, like dust to dawn, or, yeah, dust to dawn kind of thing. Well, I wait. think we need to... Well, my, what that? I'm sorry. Go ahead. I, I think we need to get a hold of Penelope and find out if they can send a representative to our <coughs> meeting 
and explain to us what's happening. They will. I've had them come to my building. Let them bring everything they have on our stuff so we can look at yeah. Is there a disc faulty somewhere? Oh. Like a faulty that might be running us dry? Like, you know what I mean? Like, is there something that's broke and it just keeps going? Or that's what I want to know. Like, is, there, is that why maybe it's high? I don't know. That's, we need to get it figured out. And if they can get it figured out, then let's get it fixed. If you, have a bad, this. if you have a bad light, well, that's why I was just wondering, is there some like the shortage? Stream, it, Sometimes yeah. it just keeps rolling, you know what I mean? Yeah, like you, Roswell's Christmas lights, you know, like, <laughs> that meter's just going. That's what I want to know, if there's something that's broken, we don't know, and it just keeps running the bill high. I don't know. Yeah, these lights are normal. That's why they were supposed to change. But it would be nice to, yeah, maybe you can... Look into yeah. that, Sean. Yeah. I'll leave it out tomorrow. Even if we have a... She can't I, would explain, I, would, I, would, I would explain just that, that, that we were, you know, at $20,000 for the year, and last year we spent under seven. Under eight. Under eight. Under eight. Under eight. Yeah. Okay, this has been a struggle. Oh, With, like, American Power and Gas, you know, like we finally feel like we're getting ahead. <coughs> yeah. And then we have over a hundred percent increase. I mean, we celebrated for what two, three months. We were like, yeah. "Hey, look at the bills coming down." Never seen the bills that low before. And I'm looking at it this month, and I'm like, "Oh, wait a minute, this ain't right." Well, oh, if we would have been using too little power, they would have had somebody at the meeting whenever that happened. Oh yeah. Because they all they'll come and check it if you're not using enough power. Your lights aren't metered. You're paying a a fee for each pole. And what we have 56 poles. But if you're paying a fee, Mr. Spade, why in the world would it one month be $1,000 and the next month be $2,766.55? I mean, it, it should be a, a rate per hour, honestly. Because when it gets darker out there, right. it's going to be all longer. So, I did that. You know, like if you're on for, it's on for 12 hours, whatever, then it should be like a rate per hour. That way you can you can monitor the increase and see where the increase is. Right. It should increase by. But I mean, even way back through the summer when it wasn't dark as long, I mean, it was still it was still it was up. We're back to where we were in June. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? If I have a motion to accept. Yeah, I'll make a motion to accept it. Any other discussion? Do I have a second? I second it. All those in favor seem to put my eye. Aye. Any opposed? I have a motion to pay the bills to keep the bar running until the next council meeting. I like that motion. Any discussion? Do I have a second? I'll second. All those in favor signify by aye. Aye. Okay. Any opposed? Motion carried. Um, we have a tentative budget that needs to be approved, but um, I need to go into an executive session, but it will not last long. I am expecting maybe five to ten minutes. Uh, the executive session is due to litigation, um, and like I said, five to ten minutes best. So don't go anywhere, and we will uh, then um, hopefully approve the budget and finish out the meeting, which should only take us approximately five to 10 minutes after that and be able to adjourn, okay? Can I get a waiver of taking my equipment out and just turning it off? You don't have to tear it completely down, but could you just take your cameras with you? Just just take them with you. Okay. Like you can leave your tripods up and everything, but the cameras well, have to be easy for me just to take it out. Um, I, in the email, it suggested different places that we might be able to look into, like uh, Novi's, Tom.
Thomas and Buck and things like that, in case you guys do still want to work with me someday, that's completely up to you. And that's not even until like April? Yeah, there's one in April and one in September. Um, this is just like, well I guess they're not, they're not taking, they're not, the use of prisoners, Maybe it has it's something to do with the use of prisoners, the prisoners aren't being used anymore. It didn't exactly go into detail, it's, it said, um, Dear municipal officials, in case you didn't already hear, we unfortunately were forced to close our recycling site at the Clearfield County Jail. Okay, so, um, closer to April, we'll decide more on the cleanup day and what we're going to do about that, but because she got the email, we're just giving an update, but as the need arises, we'll be more of an update then. Is there anything else? Did the uh, county pay you for the job that you got? Or that you took down there? No, actually, whenever we take it down there, we have to pay them for accepting it. That's a criminal offense right there. You, you should have been receiving a check. Uh, if you take it, if you have nobody drop off a container, put that stuff on, they'll pay you. And that would be money for the. I always thought you got paid for it. Not that I'm aware of. We I would have taken it personally. I would have taken all your junk <laughs> if, you, if you didn't want the money for it. Anything else? Are we on the good of the bar? Yeah. That, yeah, that's it. Um, question about what you did. You did not do a resolution for the next year's taxes, which you're required to do. Do we not do that at the organizational meeting? No. Okay. That's done. You're doing that. You have to do it. And that's before December the last day of the month. And same way with appointing a independent auditor. It had to be done before the end of December. Don't take my word Which, for it, but look in your in your barricade book there, it's gonna okay. tell you. Um, which our attorney is looking into that, um, which mm -hmm. has to do with the, um, what we brought up with the resolution 15. Um, for the independent auditor. Um, also, uh, but you we have are to not set, raising taxes. You have to do a resolution if you're not going to raise it. If you're going to raise it, you have to do an ordinance. Well, we're not raising taxes. But you have to do an or, a resolution. And they Remember last year they, uh, they changed the law and that you were permitted to do a resolution. Correct. Yeah. Correct. You're correct. You're correct. Okay. We don't need the resolution in front of us, correct? Yeah, you should have a resolution. Uh -huh. You should have, you, that should have been a part of what you were doing with the budget. Okay. It's it's separate entity, but it's, right. it, it's uh, the two things that you have to do before the end of the year. I understand. But the bonus is that's not on a time frame, so if we need to do a special meeting to approve it, we can. Okay. So we do a resolution, we have a special meeting, and we do a resolution of the raised taxes. Works for me. Christmas Eve. I'll do it. <laughs> no! <laughs> Go to, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Unless you want to party late, bring, bring some hot chocolate. Hot <laughs> <laughs> chocolate and cookies. Anything else? I will look into that Christmas page. I mean, not Christmas Eve, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> Always a good time. <laughs> Anything else? Yeah, can I bring something on? Sure. Uh, since negotiations concluded, do we need a, do you guys need a motion to uh, update the contract? 
since we kept the contract the same, I don't believe we do. Okay. Anything else? When we went into an executive session, we were supposed to be told what it was for. Yeah, it, it was for litigation. She did say Oh, that. okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I misheard that. Do I have a motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion to adjourn. Do I second? Second. All those in favor, signify by aye. Aye. Any opposed? Meeting adjourned. Thank you.